on y'all we're back once again at the Edwards Ontario 22 theaters to catch one of those flicks that doesn't have a poster outside <sighs> yep we want to see the new Shia LaBeouf joint man down it's a military film uh, the little synopsis says it's about a post-apocalyptic future um, but from the trailer, it doesn't really convey that too much. It seems like modern times and some type of modern war. But uh, Shia LaBeouf is reflecting on an incident that occurred between him and the rest of his fellows and his uh, company. Um, uh, some incident where they had to engage with some foreign civilians. I shouldn't say foreign because they're probably over in their land. But they had to engage and some, uh, you know, gun gunfare, and um, he's deeply affected after having survived it, it seems like, from the trailer. Um, yo, I love our military joints, so that's all I needed, and to see Shia LaBeouf, who I think is a great actor, maybe kind of nutty in his personal life, but that's because he's, I don't know, trying to find his way or whatever, you know. We like Shia LaBeouf as an actor, so we're going to support him on the acting tip. Is rapping stuff I don't know about. <laughs> but anyways, limited release, man down. It's only in a few theaters. Let's go check it out before it skedaddles. And uh, guess what, y'all? Amazingly enough, we're hella early this time. So we're just going to go in there and cop a squat in one of their chairs and hopefully be entertained by the story of Man Down starring Shia LaBeouf. I'm not too familiar with who directed it and everything like that, but we'll find out afterwards. And, uh, yeah, let's go check out a flicky flick, y'all. Yeah. Man down. Man down was interesting. It was interesting. It was good. It's a slow burn. It took a while for it to fully envelop. I would say it's good. It won me over in the end. It won me over in the end. It was a tough one because I was falling asleep and stuff. I was dipping and everything at first I didn't know I was like yo what's going on but when it finally kind of fully unlocked for you it was like oh and Shia LaBeouf dude I'm sorry how could you hate on this guy's performance in this movie two days in a row I've seen Oscar nominated performances Oscar worthy performances I should say and uh, you got to give it to Shia. He, he should be in the, in the talks for best actor in this film because, man, that brother put it down. He put it all on camera. And, um, yeah, I give it up to Man Down. It's not for everybody at all. It's not even for your average person who likes to see, uh, you know, military joints. But I would say for vets they would be able to relate indeed, I would think, possibly. Anybody saw some combat experience? And, um, I mean, this movie could have been called PTSD. It would have been too much on the nose, but um, Man Down is quite appropriate. Um, as far as the post-apocalyptic film, hmm, that was the, uh, 
the distraction, you know. Um, and even saying that is, but yeah, I gotta give it up to Shia LaBeouf and Man Down. Yeah, so, you know, this is your guy, Neek, for me in the movies. Catch y'all next flick and go check out Man Down. It's definitely worth the view. Maybe not the theater, who knows? I enjoyed it at the theater. Um, but definitely uh, see the film and definitely peep that brother's performance.